Thank you. Holy fucking shit. Uh, let's just do a quick little test here. VLC player? Sure. We'll put it there. Okay. There's my VLC player. Yeah, I hope you like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just do a quick little test here. Oh, and I'm hearing myself. VLC so player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll put it there. Okay, we'll just pause that. Okay, here we go. Close that. And VLC player. There we go. Okay. And we'll just uh, just go uh, to the um something. Where's the fucking playlist? Where's where's the fucking playlist? There it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Welcome, people. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me uh, get everyone in frame here. Zunk. So a couple of musical selections to kick off the show. Just a bit of fun. The main theme from Homefront, which I just 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 this past week did a complete playthrough of over on Twitch TV. You can check that out. The entire game in four measly episodes. A lot of fun, but really short. It's a bit short. <laughs> Each episode is... There's two episodes that are two one hour and two episodes that are two hours. So total running time of six hours. Six hours! And that's including much, much fail along the way. <sighs> but it was a very entertaining six hours. All I can say is I'm glad I didn't pay. Glad I didn't pay sixty bucks for it. I got it for like fifteen. So I feel that I got my. Did you ever grab the grenades? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Finally, <laughs> grab the grenades. I found the grenades. They were not where they told me they were. They lied. <laughs> Um, so this week I had a vote, uh, while I was in the midst of playing Homefront on the Facebook fan page as to what the viewers would like to see me play next. I thought, hey, let's make it a little more interactive and give, give the viewing public a say. So I had a list of PS3 games I wanted to play, and the winner by quite a landslide, actually, is the Splinter Cell HD Collection Original Trilogy. Uh, so that's what we're going to be playing starting uh, probably tomorrow, is what I'm thinking. So in celebration of that, we played the opening theme of Homefront there. Uh, I just managed to snag the score today. And uh, a selection from Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, which is, I believe, the third game, actually. Because uh, yeah. it has just an awesome, awesome, ripping techno breakbeat soundtrack by Amon Tobin who is quite, you know, quite well known. And uh, I didn't know that he did the one of the soundtracks, and I was listening to a bit of it today, and it's fucking amazing. I can't wait to get to that game just to hear the music in-game. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. I've never played any of the Splinter Cell games, so it's going to be all new to me. So uh, I'm sure you can expect lots more fail. Because as, as, yeah. as much as I love stealth games, I'm not particularly good at them. I'll just say that. <laughs> He's not the quiet type. Just... No. I tend to be... Is that Sean quiet? Tend to be munching <laughs> on bags of chips as I'm trying to sneak past enemies and... We're gonna take this guy out. <laughs> 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 Ste stepping on every twig in the vicinity. <laughs> Knocking <laughs> over paint guy, cans and... Like, <laughs> you would be the one person that would just, I don't know where to go. <laughs> tripping over garbage cans and <laughs> sh shopping carts and <laughs> shopping carts. everything that can possibly make noise guaranteed I'll crash into it at the worst possible moment 
<laughs> the rest of your team so, is over in Moscow doing their mission, and you're sneaking around Walmart, apparently. Enjoy that. Actually, one, <laughs> actually, one stealth game I was pretty good at was Manhunt. I really enjoyed Manhunt. I didn't play that game much as a sneaky game. No? Did you just go in guns blazing? <laughs> yeah. But I did. I go, ooh, enemy, I have a bat. <laughs> Well, the, the thing is, I mean, it's worth it's worth your while to sneak up on them because then you get the extra brutal stealth kills. So those were a lot of fun. I still like hitting things with bats. Like I like the one where he uses a, a pi he uses a piano wire and he actually slices the guy's head right off with it. He like uh, saws his head off with the piano wire. With yeah. the piano wire. <laughs> Monofilament cable can do that. Yes. Yeah. It's, it is. You can find the space between your spinal cord. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember, uh, what was it in that Dario Argento film we watched, Trauma? They used a device that used piano wire to uh, behead people. It's pretty nasty, man. Pretty nasty. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Conversation. And that's it. Well, Never thanks done. for coming out, guys. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got. Yeah, you, might, you yeah. might want to turn off your cam. And, and okay. Because it's just like so blurry and flaggy. It's not even showing up. All right. Well, it's showing up fine at my end, and my end's the one that's broadcasting, so fuck you. Yeah, the, the, I'm looking <laughs> at the broadcast, and it's perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. It's just okay. fucking up over here. Uh. What? Okay, AZ, I think you heard a mix-up of rumors there. There was, uh... There, there was supposedly quite a few missing films of Doctor Who found. Uh, AC says, I heard about the Doctor Who film that was found. What was that all that about? Uh, collectors that might try to buy it out of under the BBC. What the fuck is that shit about? No, 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 that's not what it was... That's not what it was going on at all. It was basically way back in the day, like in the 60s, the story goes... There was this uh, TV engineer who was quite a sci-fi fan, uh, and the way that films were distributed outside of the UK at the time was on film. They would actually make film prints, even though they were shot on video, they would make 16 millimeter film prints for distribution to other countries just so they didn't have to mess around with the different video standards, and it just made it a lot easier. Um, so these film prints were sent out all over the world, and uh, that's how some of them, and normally after they would be broadcast, they would be destroyed or sent back to the BBC. Um, but in, in some cases, some of the films that were supposed to have been destroyed weren't, and that's how they've been able to recover a lot of the missing episodes that the BBC destroyed, uh, through these, you know, international film prints. So the story goes that in Africa, there was this station that, you know, was broadcasting Doctor Who back in the 60s, and got a bunch of the film prints, and then there was this, uh, TV engineer that rather than disposing of them, uh, kept them for himself, for his own personal collection, which which is not unheard of. That's happened a lot in the past, or where things things have just found their way into the hands of private collectors, you know, film collectors. So the story goes that this guy was just amassing tons of stuff, like literally tons of stuff, from his travels, you know, across Africa, and uh, had this massive film library of stuff from the 60s, a lot of which included Doctor Who, and a lot of other stuff as well, a lot of other lost BBC stuff. Um, so the, the rumor was that there was that they had gone through the, the film cans and discovered about 90 of the 106 missing episodes. And yeah, so pretty awesome if it turns out to be true. But it's like every day there's a new layer to the story. One day it's true. The next day it's not true. The next day it's true again. The next day it's not true again. So there's just been so much back and forth about it. I don't think anybody actually knows for certain. So we're obviously hoping that it's true because that would be fucking amazing. Um, and some of the things that sort of lend suspicion to it possibly being true is the fact that all the missing episodes audio CDs that have been available for years suddenly went out of print this year. So why would they go out of print during the 50th anniversary year when that would be when fans and new fans and old fans would be most interested in picking them up? Well, 
if they just found all those actual episodes, it stands to reason they'd want to pull the previous editions out so they could put out DVDs of them or broadcast them on TV, create demand before they make them available again in their entirety. Um, the other thing is there's certain uh, incomplete stories that are only missing a couple episodes that are getting their episodes animated, but others are not. Uh, oddly, at least they haven't been yet. Like, there's one one release in particular that is very mysterious to me, and that's uh, a release of story number 31, I believe, The Moon Base, which is an early Cyberman story. It's a four part story, they have two episodes. It was scheduled for a DVD release earlier this year, and the general assumption was that the two missing episodes would be getting the animated treatment, much like the others. However, we still do not have confirmation that those are getting animated. Now, there's other stories, such as The Ice Warriors, which is also missing two episodes. It is getting animated. We've seen clips of it. The Tenth Planet, which is missing its final episode, is already animated and available in the Regenerations Region 2 set. Um, but then there's this the, the Moon Base, where we haven't had confirmation that it's being animated. And part of the rumor is, is that two of the episodes that were discovered were the two episodes of the Moon Base. The other part of the rumor is that the final episode of The Tenth Planet was also among the ones discovered. But ones that weren't discovered, um, wait a minute, I can mixed up here. Uh, but actually, another another thing that went out of print recently was the invasion, which is the eight part story, eight part Cyberman story, uh, with its two missing episodes animated. So it went out of print recently, which is really odd to me because it's a huge, notable, historically significant series in the in the lore of the the classic series. But if the rumor is true, then they found the two episodes that were missing. So it stands to reason they would pull the old edition to write a new edition with the complete episodes on it. So it's really hard to say. I mean, the, the ones that have been pulled and gone out of print versus the ones that they claim they have found more or less match up. Like, they do seem to match up and suggest that if they have found them, then it makes sense for them to pull those old editions. But if they haven't found them, and they're pulling those old editions, then it just doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> so at this point, it's still just a big old fat rumor with a lot of conspiracy theories floating around. So really, at this point, it's anybody's guess. The um... and, uh, G Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead, what? Uh, Jamie said in the chat, oh my god, Sean, where's your hair? Well, me and Sean... We uh we, we had a duel earlier this week. A hair duel. He lost. He lost. I still yeah lost to hair, but he but he lost all his hair. He totally yeah, lost that's hair. right. He scalped me. It was brutal. I, I, you know, Be very glad we weren't recording that. It's just I had a mohawk for a few minutes, but uh, but then that had to go yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That happened. So a lot of people are saying, well, why hasn't the BBC made an official statement about it? Well, the BBC made a sort of official statement, simply a somewhat cryptic official statement, basically saying the BBC cannot confirm at this time that any missing episodes has been found. Have been found. Cannot confirm at this time. Hmm. Okay. So that mean you're going to confirm later? <laughs> But it stands well, to reason, if... They didn't confirm that there's a shipment of... Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. There was the, the rumor... They did confirm that they're receiving three tons of film reels. They cannot confirm that it's all Doctor Who. That's what their big thing was. Yeah. There is three tons of film reels coming from this uh, African storehouse. Now, supposedly there was a message from the guy who owns this African storehouse who said, I don't know how this started. There's no missing episodes of Doctor Who. It's just a bunch of stuff from, you know, African television to preserve cultural heritage because the equipment used to play it doesn't exist over here anymore. So we're sending it to the BBC to convert it for us. Uh, maybe? I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like a very poorly worded statement for someone who was trying to issue an official, professional statement about something. For one thing, half the statement was in all caps, <laughs> which just doesn't seem doesn't seem very professional to me. So I'm wondering if that actually was a professional statement or if it was just some, you know, fan being a jackass and and pretending it was an official statement. I don't know. It's it's. The world of Doctor Who's missing episodes is so full of conspiracies and scams and hoaxes and just 
all around, you know, running around in circles bullshit that it's it's impossible to say, really. It's all speculation at this point. I would love for it to be true, obviously, because if that's true, then that means there's only 16 missing episodes instead of 106, and that would be amazing. And at least four of those 16 episodes are getting the animated treatment this year, which would just leave a handful left to, to animate to effectively make the collection complete. Um, so yeah, I would love it to be true, but I can't say for certain one way or the other. I mean, I've been looking, following the rumors, following the updates, and it's just such a mess that who the fuck knows? The only people who know are the people who are actually handling the transaction, if there is such a transaction taking place. And it stands to reason that if it is true, that of course the BBC isn't going to offer an official statement at this point, because it's a huge find, and obviously there's going to be huge, complicated negotiations involved in finalizing it all. So, you know, we just got to sit back and relax and let things pan out however they're going to pan out. I mean, we'll know before the anniversary, one way or the other. There's no question about that. But it's going to be a long wait until then. Apparently the audio in the Hangouts is low. It's very quiet, apparently. Sorry. Thank you for telling me. Oh, I know why. It's because I had to turn down the volume for the, uh, music, uh, for right. the music. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me crank that up. All right. How's that? Say, say. Ah, la, la, la. There, is that we'll better? A little more, a little more balanceful. <clears throat> All right. There are only four people here. The, what? what? Oh no, four people like it in the live stream. Yes, yeah. there's 25 people watching. Hi, 25 people. Everybody, hit the uh, like button. Hit uh, the little heart. Show some love. So yeah, I picked up this doc. Out. I picked up this Doctor Who shirt. I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff, because it doesn't have any official BBC labels on it, but whatever. It's a nice knockoff, if it is. Uh, wanted to have something somewhat official to wear in the Doctor Who videos, so I got this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a Deadpool t-shirt yesterday. Did you know? Yes, and I'm wearing it right now. A lot of dead... Oh, oh yes, it, it looks lovely. <laughs> You want to see it? <laughs> there's a lot of Deadpool love going on right now. A lot of people are hoping that... Well, there's the game coming out, and everybody's hoping that the yeah. movie's going to happen. Well, early recollection about the game is that it's actually really good. Excellent. They say that the gameplay is nothing special, like nothing to write home about, but they say yeah. it's the writing and the humor that saved it from well, being... Well, that's what you want. Game. I mean, that's what you want in a Deadpool game. Well, Exactly. Yeah, hold on a second. There we go. Oh, hold on a second. Let's click over to it. There, there we go. Is. Wow, you're just a circle for me. Nice. I'm gonna reload. That is a nice Ooh. Deadpool. That's pretty sexy. Yeah, work it, work it, girl, work it. <laughs> That's it. Make love to the camera. <laughs> Okay, that's just getting disturbing. Hey, that's an awesome shirt. I got to say I thought it so. Time. I said make love to it, not ram it anally with no lube. There's a difference? <laughs> unf, unf, unf. <laughs> oh, Rose Marlin says, I hope the Deadpool love is stronger than ever, as I will be selling a couple entire runs of his comics. Excellent, there you go. I actually just picked up his newest Profit. trade paperback a couple of weeks ago. Cool. Damn it, Tank! Put Stay that put. cookie down! Now! <laughs> put that cookie down! Now! Why are you repeating? Damn it. <laughs> ah, there we go. Fixed it. Brennan says, The Last of Us has to be the best game I've played in the last two years. I really want to play that. I love me some post-apocalyptic stuff. Bye, Isn't that on? Oh no, Jamie has to leave already? Okay, bye, Jamie. Thanks for coming briefly. Is The Last of Us on PC or is it just on PS3 and 360? I think it's. I'm not sure, actually. I also heard it was a lot of quick time events. Is Probably. <clears throat> Let's take a look. This is the kind of game it might be, you know? Yeah. Very cinematically oriented. All right, I'm going to go to the washroom quickly. I'll be right back. Not to the degree that, uh, like, heavy rain is, though, I wouldn't think. 
No, Heavy Rain's a movie, essentially. Pretty much, yeah. And that's fine if that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. But that new game, Rise, it looks like it's trying to be an action game, but instead there's just 8 million fucking quick-time events. Okay, looks like... Hold on a second. Last of Us is a PS3 exclusive. Which I thought it was. I wasn't sure, though. Oh, yeah, of course, it's Naughty Dog. Naughty mm -hmm. Dog is all about the PS3. Yeah, I need to play well, Heavy Rain. And then uh, Beyond Two Souls is is coming out soon from the makers of Heavy Rain. And that also looks amazing. Well, uh, now, Naughty Dog has not been opposed to PC. They yeah. just, it's hard for them to port cell processor, processor games to PC games. Yeah. So when the PS4 arrives, we'll probably see a bit more ports by Naughty Dog to the PC. Yeah. Oh, it'll be way easy to port stuff on those. Because of the, uh, yep. they both use the same processor. Mm -hmm. Well, all, really, everything will be I mean, using the same processor then. To be perfectly honest, they just need to do two things to go from the PS4 to the PC: is they need to uh, convert or add the ability to control the mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Um, and Obviously. give you and unlock the graphics options. And that's it. Well, mm. yeah, then, but the changes can, are um are like the calls, API calls, and stuff are change based on the operating system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You make them... Other than that, that's it. More open done. based on the OS. It's a, lot, it's a lot shorter conversion process than... Evan like, says, The Last of Us is on my wish list, still hoping for a good survival horror game. All I play is Silent Hill 1 through 3. I want more! There's lots of good survival horror games. I mean, Silent well, Hill is, is easily the king of the hill, so to speak. <laughs> so survival horror, the yeah, you already play Silent, Silent Hill 1 through 3. Um, <clears throat> not to start the war, I won't. I won't mention the original Resident Evil. <laughs> um, no, the original uh, Resident Evils, I think, would be, you know, would qualify. Like, like well, I mean, if like you play Silent three, Hill, then yes, the first definitely three. go, definitely go with the Silent Hill one, uh, with uh, Resident Evil one through three. Yeah, if you play uh, Silent Hill, I like it. But uh, Dead Space, go through Dead Space. Yeah, go through. Uh, what are other ones? I know a lot of Alone in the Dark is a of... good survival horror game. Yeah. Uh, I haven't already mentioned get that. Get the PS3 uh, version of the Alone in the Dark one, because it's got all the bug fixes. So if you want to go old school, you can always get the original DOS version. It plays like Resident Evil. Get the, the, uh, oh, the old. If you can get the PlayStation 1 version, is also very good. The old, yes. the old, old, old Alone in the Dark, yeah. yeah that's that the was the first, one. like, one of the earlier uh, Polygon based games, like for Polygon characters and stuff. Yep. And um, also uh, the ooh. first to use the like really ah, dynamic, even... dramatic camera angles and stuff. It was, it I, I think we can all feel. agree on on this one. Probably the most terrifying survival horror game out there. Katamari Damashi. Fatal, <laughs> Fatal Frame. <laughs> yes, Fatal Frame. I noticed that's in the PSN Fatal store Frame now too. Is the best. <laughs> Fatal Frame is the best. You can get never played it. Game you, ever. you can get you can play Fatal Frame on the PS3 now. You can get it through the PSN store for like oh, ten bucks. Bad game. Yeah. It the doesn't matter sequels. if you've played it before. They, they don't have the sequels. They just have the first one. Damn it. Yeah, I want to play the, the sequels. Yeah, the sequels are expensive. yes. Fatal Frame Two is actually scarier than the first one. Crimson uh, Butterfly. <laughs> that the I don't know yes. if you guys consider Slender a survival horror game, but it's also pretty absolutely pretty scary. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Especially yeah. if you get the, the newest descent. one. Yeah, I still haven't played one. any of them. I watch gameplay of them. They look they're fun. <laughs> Manic, <laughs> says, Manic says he was kind of traumatized by poker and blackjack, where the dealer sounded like he was constantly suffering from violent flatulence. <laughs> 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 That's terrifying. Evan says, I just wish they still made games like the original Silent Hills and Resident Evil's. Never played Fatal Frame? Definitely got it. Yes, you definitely got it. It's great. Yes. Uh, if, you, if you want a taste of it, actually, a couple Halloweens ago, I did a partial, uh, as a MMC Retro Series, because uh, I recorded a partial playthrough many moons ago, and I put it up as a multi-part uh, Halloween special. So check that out on my YouTube page if you want to get uh, a, a peek at it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... 
that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It'll, I, it'll I completely you, agree. It'll make you do that a lot while screaming. Yeah, it's it's very well <laughs> done. It's got a lot of... Usually uh, with uh, squirting involved. A lot of scary moments. Uh, very unique uh, yeah, sort of, of game of mechanics. Various fluids out of various holes in your body. Um, <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> And really well thought out uh, puzzles that you have to solve as well. It's very puzzle oh, yeah. based, um, but the puzzles have logical <laughs> solutions to them. Like you can figure them out. You just have to sort of think about it. But I really liked that about it. Really enjoyed it a lot. I played. I played through it a couple of times actually. I'm definitely going to get it again through the PSN store because I just love I that game. I think the most horrifying game I ever played was probably Monkey Island Two. Not because it's scary, <laughs> just because it's that fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, if you want to go that old, uh, you can always try Sanitarium. Yeah. Uh, Sanitarium. Day of the Tentacles, damn it. Uh, if you want to go point-and-click adventure, scary, you want to do Sanitarium or any of the Phantasmagorias. Mm. And Maniac Mansion was pretty fucking Maniac. scary, because you're... Because you got no. killed, like, randomly. You're like, no, oh, son of a bitch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody ever play a game on the PlayStation 1 called Clock Tower? Yes. Clock Tower, yeah. I did. another one. I remember Clock uh, Tower 3 for the PS2, though. The original Clock Tower uh, was released on the Super Nintendo. Oh, wow. And it was freaky as fuck, too. Nice. Um, for a Super Nintendo game. I didn't realize it went back for it. Uh, but they, yeah, they released a PlayStation version, which is very similar. Uh, okay. Actually, I think it's a direct port. Uh, but it was obviously for the PlayStation graphics. Yeah. Um, oh, then there was a later another game called Clock Tower uh, that was completely different. And what made it scary was that you didn't really have any weapons. Yeah. Nope. To fight any of the monsters, all you had, I think, the only thing closest you got to a weapon was holy water. Yep. Was that you, was that Clock Tower three? I think that was either Clock Tower two or three. Yeah, because I remember Clock Tower three. One of the big things was uh, you had to uh, uh, like one of the sort of big challenges, like ongoing challenges of it, was you had to keep your character from getting too scared because if she got too yeah. scared, she wouldn't move. She'd be literally yeah. paralyzed with fear. So uh, you had yeah. to avoid the the ghosts and terrors and stuff. Yeah, uh, I never actually, played that's, it, ta but... that's taken straight from the very first game on the Super Nintendo. Mm. It's the same kind of thing. Interesting. One of, the thing, one of the things I remember about the PlayStation remake was there was this room with a telephone in it that wouldn't stop ringing. <laughs> so eventually I got fed up with it and I answered the phone and all I heard on the other end was, I'm going to kill you. And then some dude with a giant knife burst through the window and cut my fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the original <laughs> antagonist for the Super Nintendo version was a a little midget with a giant <laughs> pair of uh, shears, and so, he would just walk. He'd slowly walk towards th Thrustbone. Oh. Did Did you learn nothing from the film? Don't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw Don't Answer the Phone. Clearly, oh, okay. Well, yeah, clearly I, I, I you I need remove, to. <laughs> I will remove my picture of Deadpool riding on a toy rocket. In horror movies or stories of any kind, you never want to answer the phone. <laughs> but it was the only thing I could do. All the doors were locked, and it was the only room I could go into. AC says, who's excited for Metal Gear Solid Five? I'll be more excited when it comes out on the PS4. I'll be more excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for it. Just not excited that it's not coming to the PS4 right away. <laughs> In the meantime, I actually really want to pick up the Metal Gear Legacy Collection. I'm going to twitch the hell out of that. What did you think of um, Splinter Cell last night? Uh, I didn't get around to playing it, actually. Twitch was down. Oh. So, uh, probably be starting it tomorrow. Maybe, yeah, we didn't maybe get around tonight. to anything until about More likely tomorrow. Four in the morning, my time, we ended up playing one round of... Uh, uh, Alien Breed. Alien Breed. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so we tried out the uh, multiplayer on Alien Breed. It's the sort of remixed and enhanced and expanded uh, <laughs> PS3 adaptation of the original Amiga games, uh, which is really cool. They really did a nice job of it. Um, so we played a couple rounds of that, got our asses handed to us on a silver platter. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we didn't, it, it did, didn't do too bad in the second one. but uh, We ended up completing the mission in the, in the second round. Yeah, the first one we just got... We got annihilated in like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, and then we were because I think because we had set our because there's three difficulties in the in the multiplayer. There's random, normal, and retro, which is hard. They put in parentheses hard mode. Yeah. Well, we set it at random, and of course, it chose retro. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And it killed us in about ten minutes. Yeah, it didn't take long. It was tough. It was. So then we uh, we chose the enhanced or the normal mode, I guess, which was the enhanced version. Uh, Yeah. And it was a lot easier. Like controls were a lot easier, and and I think just think the level it put us in was a lot easier too. <laughs> oh yeah, I think yeah. it was literally just what was it? It was uh, get to the get to the lift. Get to yeah. the lift. Yeah, get we the lift. triggered this yeah. auto destruct countdown and had to be- make a beeline to the lift. One of the things I've noticed since I started buying older games from goodoldgames.com is just how friggin' hard they were back in the day. They are. They really are. I mean, You're I in- complain about having to play modern games with one hand. If I had to do <laughs> that without the 17-button mouse that I'm using now, oh, I don't God. think I'd be playing video games today. No. It's, uh, yeah, the it's very true. Like, I've gone back to play a lot of old-school favorites and have been surprised by just how hard they are. It's like, wow, I, I used to be able to blow through this no problem, but it is kicking my ass today. <laughs> well, I mean, you get used to things like auto saves every five minutes. Yeah, and... that's true. We really are spoiled. I mean, because we have things like unlimited lives, unlimited continues, the whole yeah. concept, and you know, no longer use points. It's more about <laughs> just sort of uh, meeting objectives and progressing through the game. Rather than, you know, back in the day, it was it was a it was a challenge. Like it was an endurance test. How long can you survive on the handful of lives we've given you, mere mortal? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a hint: not long. Ah, Vermin Art mentions uh, says GOG is one of the best websites ever. Big fan of GOG. Yeah, I become a big fan of GOG as well. For the simple fact that they uh, they have all these classic PC games. That even if you found them, uh, good luck getting them to work on your modern PC. But that's exactly what GOG does: is they take these old games and they make them easily installable and instantly playable on your modern yep. PC, and it's beautiful. So you can play all these great old games uh, yes, again. Thanks to uh, thanks to GOG, I get to relive my the, the game that brought me into playing. Uh, 3D games online for the first time, mm-hmm. which was a giant citizen's Kaluto. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Gog released it and did a modern patch for it, and it works beautifully. Yeah. And they got a lot of great old games PC. there. I've got a stack of Gog games uh, that I'd, I'd love to do on Twitch as well. A lot of big, big epic RPGs and stuff like that, so might do some oh, yeah. big marathon the sessions that- of those. The thing that really makes me angry, though, is that GOG was, like, this close to getting the classic X-Wing and TIE Fighter games, mm. and then Disney bought Lucasfilm and oh. shut down Lucasfilm. Well, maybe it'll still happen. Who knows? But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's great, because not only do they work, but they're dirt cheap. I mean, you can get most of them for, like, under 10 bucks. So oh, yeah. So and they're having like a five. huge sale this weekend. Yeah. A lot of their stuff is, like, 75% off. Yeah, it's it's and fantastic. apparently they're in talks with uh, Bethesda to get the early Elder Scrolls games. Oh, too. that would be awesome! Yeah, I, I would love to play those. I would uh, love to play those. I believe already on there. I believe you can get Daggerfall. Yeah, was that the uh, was that the first one? Yeah, Daggerfall was the first yeah. non-arena one, I think. Oh, because okay, there's Arena, and then yeah. Dagger. So Daggerfall is technically Elder Scrolls one. Uh. Yeah, I suppose. Because I know Morrowind is the third one. Well, if you count Arena as one, then Daggerfall would be two, and then Morrowind would be three. Ah, okay. I think I knew that at one point. Unless they made a Red Guard game in there somewhere, which I think they might have. But I think that I'm pretty sure there are like one or two spin-off games that they did that aren't part of the main chronology. But kind of like what they did with Ultima, how Ultima has the um, Worlds of Ultima ones. Yeah. They've got yeah. uh, Martian something and uh, Savage Frontier. Yeah. Which actually, if there you si- if you sign up with GOG, they give you a bunch of those free. They give you three yeah. Ultima games for free, uh, including Ultima 4, which was the, the first in the Avatar trilogy, and then uh, the two Worlds of Ultima games. Um, I'm sorry, is Tank rolling a joint? 
I don't know. How does that look like rolling a joint? <laughs> he's, he's setting up his 3D printer. Oh, setting um, up a 3D I printer, have, rolling a joint. It's practically I, the same thing. I couldn't remember this game when we were talking about horror games, but the best <laughs> horror game for the GameCube is called Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Yeah, yes. I've heard of that. Get yeah. the fuck out of you. And it does things like um, it breaks the fourth wall. At one point, it says your game state game is corrupted, and the only way to stay like fix it is to turn off your GameCube and turn it back on. And it <laughs> like progress the story when you do that. Yeah, it does weird. Things, like, gives you glitches in the game that make you think the game's glitched, but it's actually part of the fucked up nature of the game. It's yep. really cool. Wow, so it really tests your sanity. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I remember uh, the first Metal Gear did some stuff like that, where you'd meet up yeah, with uh, Mantis. Psychomantis. Psychomantis, yeah. Um, yeah. Because what Psychomantis would do, or what the game would do, is it would actually scan your uh, your your save game card and see if other Capcom games were on there. Or Konami games, sorry. Other Konami games. And Psychomantis would mention it as you're yeah. battling him. He's like, oh, I see you're a Castlevania fan. And, <laughs> and he'd say, it's like, how does he know that? <laughs> That's awesome. And he'd like make little comments based on what game saves he found. I'd, so, I'd, like, how we, I'd cool. like how if you had no other Konami games on your memory card, you'd see like, you play a lot of video games. Too bad you don't play any good ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was another thing where it was it was around the time when uh, DualShock had just come out with the uh, vibration. So they actually used the vibration in game. So like you know, the the person helping or the girl helping you over the radio will say, "Oh, it looks like your your muscles are a little tense there, Snake. Why don't you uh, put the controller on your arm and uh, and I'll help you." So you put the controller on your arm and then and then it vibrates and he's like, "Oh, that's better." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember wow. the, the way yeah. to beat Psychomantis was. Uh, Oh, yeah, they nullified controller port one. Yeah, yes. Controller you have to plug in the port in the two. Controller port two to defeat him. And he'll, and he'll right. as soon as you do it, he'll go like, "Wait, what's, what's going on? I can't. What are you doing? I can't read your mind." Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's right. Because if you try to, you can move while you're in controller port one, but he predicts everything you do, and there's yeah. just no yes. way he deflects everything. There's no way to do it. But you put in controller port two, port two, and then you can beat him. I remember that. That was. Yeah. How long did it take people to figure that out at the time? They're like, what the I fuck? Think I How do I like beat it? <laughs> that pissed me off for a good solid three hours until I went online to figure out how to do it. <laughs> isn't it in the, isn't it in yeah. the rule book too, or the, the instruction manual? Didn't it, it is in the instruction that? manual. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder how they get around that with the PS3 version. <laughs> because of the wireless <laughs> controller, yeah. Yeah. How do you How do you do that? I wonder. I guess we'll find you out. You can actually change the port. <laughs> Um, if you hold the PS2 button, down, the PS button down, it brings it up. And you can change what controller number you have. Yeah, maybe that's how you do You'd it. You have to manually do it. Probably, it'd be a pain in the ass and be annoying. <laughs> well, no more annoying than the original game. <laughs> that's true. Well, at least in the original game, they gave you the hidey O screen so that you had time to change it. Are you? Oh, Evans. <laughs> Evans is just falling all over himself. Experiencing GOG for the first time. It's like, oh my god! There's so many cool, cheap games! I'm in love! <laughs> and, uh, I cannot wait uh, because I would love to see GOG get games like Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Which one? On there. It's called Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Mm. Um, I have showed the intro to this game to you guys before. It's that really weird Japanese fucked up intro where like it's like a really happy upbeat tune. It's like da 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 <laughs> you're seeing people getting de limbed <laughs> body parts blowing everywhere. It's like uh yeah. You know who would be an awesome game to Twitch? If we could play Neverwinter Nights in multiplayer mode. Are the servers yeah. still up for it? Uh they are, yeah. Greg and I play it multiplayer all the time. Oh. I don't know how much longer they're going to be up with, with uh, EA liquefying Bioware and all, but liquefying. Liquidating. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at uh, the deals on Vogue right now, and I can see why they're choosing. Because yeah, System, they're Shock on sale 2, right now. System Shock 2 is $4.99. Planescape Torment is $4.99. 
Uh, the Witcher Two uh, is nine ninety nine. Wow. Yeah, it was four ninety nine the other day. Let's see what else? Uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, Dragon Shard is four ninety nine. I think they got all the gold they, box D and D games there too, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's a bunch of it's a it's a summer sale. What's going on in Gog? Nice. Okay. The Might and Magic six pack is four ninety nine. Yeah. Whoa. I remember Total Annihilation. Master of that. I remember it sucked. I, I when I <laughs> even back then I saw it as a bad. Uh, <laughs> Which one? Uh, Total Annihilation. Ah, Total Annihilation. It was like. It was like a bad Command and Conquer ripoff. Gotcha. I gotta find Rocket Jockey. That game was awesome. <laughs> Rocket Jockey? Yeah, it was set like in the old... It's like an old steampunk game, right? Yeah, and I remember. I played it. And like a, on a racetrack, and you're ra riding a giant fucking engine. It was awesome. It was basically the, the speed, a pod racer before pod racers were made. Nice. Yep. So, it was pretty cool. It had a really cool soundtrack, too. <clears throat> But I had the demo. Always wanted to play it. Played the demo and that was it. I need to make food. Okay. Congratulations. I will take you with me as I make food. Congratulations. Yay, you'll all get to experience the disasters. Try not to burn oh, the apartment food. down. Brad suck any dick on the way to the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I was not on the way to the kitchen. Let's see. Oh wow, Rocket Jockey is a 1996 game by Sega. Yep. Yeah, the game is cool. I had no idea it was by Sega. Is that better? A friend of mine had no that game on his machine, China. and we never got to play it multiplayer. Right. My big I thing. I only played the demo. I had the demo uh, disc. That was it. My two ultimate racing games I had in the mid 90s was Monster <clears throat> Truck Madness and Roll Cage. Bringing you into the kitchen. You've never played Roll Cage. Oh my god. We're Ridge talking Racer about... 3, 4 was the one I really liked. Did I had a PC when I said that? No, that was PS1. Oh, we're talking yeah. PC, man. Well, you didn't say. You said racing games. You didn't specify <laughs> PC. Oh, I should have specified Pardon PC. Me, well, I my yeah, okay. Ass. Um, my favorite PC racing Do we really need an announcement for that, Sean? Was BC Racers. That the world can I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> BC Racers was my favorite racing game. Oh, ever. yes, I remember BC Racers. The it's terrible, but it's awesome at the same time. Yes, it is. Um, another good one is uh, Revolt, the PC version of Revolt. And there was this we one ga potatoes. game with like these awesome fancy planes through like canyons and shit and I can't remember what it's called. Uh, down to my last potatoes. Uh, a big one and uh, a slightly less big one. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't well, until I got a lot older that I realized that a lot of the games that I thought were just cheap little dumb games were actually like these legendary awesome games that are now highly collectible. <laughs> Like, yeah, I had the special edition gatefold set of Planescape Format when I was a kid. Planescape <laughs> awesome. Fine. Uh, like Sean, that. we don't need to hear your mating call. But uh, I never really got into it, and I later just, I think I just gave it away or got rid of it. But I was like 12. So <laughs> I didn't really care. Yeah. Oh, stunts. Stunts was the other really cool PC game. Stunts. Uh, stunts was like what happens when you took uh, Need for Speed 2 and like uh, Hard Driving, the arcade version. My, my favorite thing is there was a craft for it that turned off the time limit on stunts. Breasts. So, you know how you had to go through checkpoints to keep your time going? It just had unlimited time, so you actually get to, you know, explore the level. That's fun. <laughs> but I hate that about stunts. I need a new garbage bag, don't I? Yeah, I used to play uh, some of the Two kilogram bag of chicken breast, boneless, skinless, frozen, fresh. Yeah, fresh thanks. frozen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks. Superstore. Uh, probably one of the oldest of racing mom, games I really ever played. Uh, this is, this is back in the Super Nintendo days playing the original Mario Kart. 
Uh, does anybody remember the game Scunny? A platforming game called Scunny. They were Scunny and they were Scunny Saves the Pizza. I remember those right? games. Uh, but there was a kart racing game called Scunny Kart. And it was a PC ripoff of Mario Kart. It prevents them from going kablooey in the stove. No, it was some of the early ones. Oh, kablooey. Now reach into the preheated oven with your bare arms. Be careful not to singe the fur. <laughs> okay. Tom is just epically failing. <laughs> He's narrating everything right now. I want to mute it. Do some very quick dishes here. I've already done yeah. most of them. Dealing with that hair. <laughs> Say what? I can't even hear what you're saying because it. Yeah. <laughs> this is Sean the Galloping Gourmet. Now, like when it goes, uh, for console new, games, uh, my two favorite sauce console today, racers are Virtual Racing for the Super Nintendo X and Mario Kart 64. Yeah, kind of on a budget these days. Those are the two so, best you know, console racing games. If you feel inclined to donate a little my way, feel free. It'll keep me on the air longer. I wonder if this is going to be a problem when I go on an airplane. Unless I have to worry about <laughs> life. I just realized that I've been sharpening them. And I was like, you can't necessarily make me remove my hands before I get off the flight, right? Actually, things are not too bad right now. They're just really tight. What? Did they just come off? Stuff. They do. I'll punch them in the face. Just hit them. They're just fucking awesome. Just like the fucking guys. Oh, I can't even see. The t-shirt oh, purchases were my big fun thing for this uh, month. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Oh, this. That is a good sized breast. No comment. I have a good sized breast. <laughs> Slump and juicy. Show them your boobies, Brandon. Nope. Are you a classy Speed lady now? What the hell? Should be enough. It's okay. nope, it's a little just in the middle. It'll, it'll cook. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, He's missing his brace. Don't you forget it. Forget Wait, it. You would take put a shirt on. See? Tank knows how to put it. He had a shirt off in public. Sold fillets earlier. Isn't that right, Tank? Frozen soul fish fillets for 10 bucks. I thought you guys had some solidarity in the whole no shirt club. When we're not in public. You're not in public now. Yeah, we are. Anybody can come and do this. Thus, it's public. Soul fillets. I basically just, uh, That's the definition of public when it comes to the internet. I put them in frozen. Weren't really we all topless so last week? Nice and quick. Uh, no. no. Uh, last week we weren't on cam. Hey, uh, Tank. I just, uh, put butter on both sides. Last week they were on the your, uh, print. Pepper and garlic powder. Yeah, your thing bump. Tank, you want to swear. It's really the best seasoning for fish, but... Oh, quickly, damn. adjust it. Oh. I was gonna get some lemon. Adjust it quickly, it'll be alright. Hopefully it'll print over it. Well, I, we'll I noticed that. that second one over there, it like smacked it and moved it pretty far. Yeah, that one. What are you practicing, by the way? Uh, vibration oh. isolation feet for Soft solid hands while you do dishes. That, mm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, have, uh, uh, you have your top piece and your bottom piece, and then these little squiggly bits are little like springs that you stick in the sides and set your solid doodle on it. There's supposed to be four of them, so that's only one after already. <laughs> Stout's got no idea what's going on. Welcome to Sean. Did he stop? I'm going to go to him, Phil, and then I'll know if it'll stick or not. He hates when you mute him. Oh. He'll be pissed at you. Bring I, mean, I, well, I don't. I don't care. You know, he comes in. Yeah, I know he's posting a chat room. Well, yeah, you know, stuff like that. But the problem is, though, there, there are other people in this chat right now. We're trying to have a conversation. Well, Actually, you, you can still hear him in the uh, live stream. Yeah, you did nothing. Yeah, yeah as long as the chat in there can hear him, I. Uh, to be fair, I don't uh, think he knows we're talking. 
over. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have headphones on. And to be fair, it is his video chat. So. Yeah, but it didn't mute him. No, but I mean, my point is, we're all guests of his, so so he's not here. <laughs> That's not my point. My point is, we don't have to even be here. This is gonna be the most okay. amazing frozen pizza ever. Mean, meaning he would, <laughs> he could just never have us with him on the live show again. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm sure he you wouldn't don't that care. No, no, you're pretty pissed off when I fucking muted him last yesterday. Because he was making lots of fucking noise. I'm not cooking it on high power by accident, as I did once when I made steak. Stout Just today. I think we had this conversation up. not that long ago, did we? Yeah, it was yesterday. It was, <laughs> it was very touchy about it. In other news, Batman, Arkham Origins. I have no interest. On my birthday. Or the day before my birthday, rather. So for your for your birthday. Sure the well, are yes, for my birthday, but I won't be around to play it on my birthday. Yeah, AC says that everyone is drowning him out, so they can even tell what he's saying. Well, um, yes, it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's one of those that, double end things where the people talking. The only thing with live stream is like it's delayed yeah, and I listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, the, the one thing to understand is that what you're hearing in the chat is not what we're hearing. We're hearing a, a secondary microphone off his webcam, I believe. So it's really, really ear-piercingly loud. Huh. <laughs> yep. And, and he's making very loud comments for no reason. So, it is what it is. So yeah, it is what it is. Okay. The faults of live stream. <laughs> Alright. So, the Google Toolbox, you can turn down individual mics. This is what I've been saying for ever. <laughs> I was trying to talk to Tank. Looks <laughs> good. Just so you know. Sean. Alright, so the barbecue sauce that we nice. were using oh, is seeing. Forelli <laughs> Hickory Barbecue Sauce. Available now at dollar stores everywhere. Never tried it before. Don't yeah. Who knows? I've been surprised by dollar store stuff before. Like, uh, I actually get my ketchup from the, from the dollar store. Thanks for the store. backup. It's freaking good. <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to tell the yeah. difference between it and real. Oh, it looks like it's sticking. I knew I could count on you. Get my coffee whitener there. I like how he has an Intellivision Skyrim poster. Yes, I do like that. I would totally play the Intellivision version of Skyrim. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So, oh. people yeah, of the live stream, really how was your week? Uh. Okay. Uh. Now, the way I cook chicken is pretty simple. Put it in the pan. Done. No. <laughs> what we do is. Oh, really? It doesn't actually. Oh, it doesn't actually have a. Okay. That's fine. Whoa. That was a little more than I meant. Hmm. I'm not even sure how to respond to the chat I, right now. Oh, I'm just they sitting have here a... reading it, and I'm like, <laughs> you know what? The I'm just sauce. Gonna they have a way right. better angle than we do. Not fair. Like that. Roman Arts Week has been tiring. Oh, I know I've been reading movie. all about it. It's like it. saying. It seems like it, when people call it Supermoon, it makes you want to slap them. That's like yeah. saying a, tw a 13 inch pizza is a super moon yeah, so or super pizza compared to a 12 inch pizza. It's barely bigger, people. 
We're fu barely closer. Got a ah, fucking super moon. Stupidest nice fucking there. comment. Like Dumb shit. Got some kick. Bullshit fucking word. Phrase. There we go. So it's basically, same way I make rings. <laughs> <but I really laughs> you got the chat against Raph because he refuses to see it. It's that parody. It's literally as big as we're ever going to see it. And that's it. Yeah, we. Who gives a shit? It's slightly bigger. I'm gonna throw that in the oven. Yeah. For I care. Give a shit. I care. It's a slightly larger moon. This is the closest oh. it's ever going to be. It might not interest you, but it interests a lot. And it's just the phrasing. I fucking hate the first term, supermoon. Oh wow. Well. And yet again. The phrasing is not the important part. And again, Mia's point is proven from last night. We're all on edge because of the fucking moon. <laughs> I'm telling you, people are going nuts. Just wait, you guys are gonna end up killing each other, and then afterward you're gonna be like, "What the fuck happened? Why did I do this? I love you, man!" And then you're gonna bro hug and cry it out. Well, maybe not cry, but we'll definitely bro hug and Sean if that's what you're saying. <laughs> Good. I think I'm gonna go hang out at Maruschio's house because apparently he's got some really killer weed coming. Oh, killer weed. <laughs> Lunatic fringe weed, he says. You can freeze bread. I don't believe we have that. Load up on bread when it's on sale. Put a loaf in the fridge. Yeah. Put the rest in the freezer. Be fresh you know No, you have better stuff. <laughs> oh, we got BC butt up here. bread all the time. <laughs> when I have a loaf that starts to get low, I pull one out of the freezer. I keep it in the fridge. It stays fresh longer. For some reason, I've had Shmo Yoho songs stuck Some people in don't like the bums. Bit. I love the bums. Verminar is, in, bums. is creating the lunatics. It's like lunatics only with boobs. Boobies! I think it's nice about the bums. You take two of these, make a burger bun out of it. There you go. Okay. So tell us more about these lunatics there, uh, Verminar. What exactly elevates them above regular boob level? <laughs> Well, see, they're going to appear 10% bigger and 33% brighter, so we're going to call them <laughs> super tits. Do they get like a super anthem? Do you think? Kraft peanut butter. The one with the teddy bears on it. Oh, God, I hate Ingredients. Special I couldn't resist. <laughs> Select roasted peanuts, corn maltodextrin, sugar, Soybean. That thing just keeps going around and around. Hydrogenated yep. vegetable oil containing cotton seed and <laughs> I'm not looking for the building. Each time it goes around, it's putting a layer on. Oh, I found my like it so much. Diglycerides. <laughs> the first actually tells you it five layers, peanuts. I believe, are all solid. So beware of aller allergies. Also, those peanuts, everything is two millimeters wider than it's supposed to be. Because I put a brim on it. Oh. Good to know. Yeah. Like, you can see how the head just kind of traces around the middle of those horseshoes now. It's actually yeah. building up the walls. Oh, the okay. brim's just there to stick it to the uh, print pen. I think everyone in the Google chat muted me. It gives it a bigger well, footprint. According to Verminart, yeah. when the moon is big, all ladies have to remove their tops. And they will be bigger and brighter, and they have they to muscle wrestle in mud. <laughs> wow. Well. Mud wrestling, yeah. I like this idea. I support this idea. We must help for him make this idea of my tax possibility. So whenever I'm doing dishes, he tends to mute me because he fears my. Is that a replicator? Maybe it's the only base, oh. like once a month. No, it's the water the fucking printer. It's printing the printing objects. <laughs> so do you have to assemble those objects after they've don't been hear printed? Fuck you. That yep. means they have. We'll have your, the in the, there's going to be four <laughs> slots in those square pieces. Yeah. Uh, on the flat sides. And then you turn those little horseshoe things sideways and stick one yeah, end at the top missing. and one end at the bottom. Mm. And then it's like a little spring ride system. Easiest peanut butter. Easiest kind of sandwich in the world to make. Peanut butter. I, I love how we're getting peanut live updates by what's going on on Sean's game. <laughs> I do have jelly as well, so I think that's TV and Jake. Listen to Sean, read ingredients to peanut butter for, uh, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> Clive Barker's Undying. I have played it. It's um, 
It's definitely worth three dollars if that's what you're gonna get. Not for good. It. I have sadly played Clive Barker's Jericho. Unfortunately. Also not good. Yeah. You know, like the stories are way better than the games that are based on them. Just saying. Uh, I thought the Jericho show was pretty good. Supposedly they're bringing that back. Yeah. Although I heard they were going to bring that back on Netflix. Is there any truth to that, or is that... I believe so, actually. Uh, that's rumor territory. Don't forget right to unmute yourself. That's not really to I kind of had to. Except for Jericho. For a little bit there. Alright. Why did you mute me? Again! <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason. I'm not hiding now. I'm hiding. No, don't Stout. Hide. No, no. I muted you because I was trying to tell Tank that his print was fucking up, and all I could hear was what was going on in your kitchen, and I, no one could hear each other. Well, yeah, yeah but you were I mean, very loud in the hangout. But Hold then on. you were very loud in the hangouts. So we were listening to you via the stream. That's what we yes. were going on. Okay. You were much better volume in the stream. All right. Uh, all right. That was the reason. Yes, and we were getting, and people who were we were getting live updates from the chat. <laughs> 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 it's true. Yes. Live updates from the chat. What? What are you asking me? Oh, no go or go, gog or no gog? Oh, uh, that's why you sound far away. Your camera's still in the kitchen. Yes, it is. Okay, it's <laughs> just what I'm like. Why do you sound like you're a mile away? One plus one is. Hi! Uh, <laughs> one plus one is J. 11d3. Yeah, is it that <laughs> moment that you realize you hate all your friends? This is that moment I realize you guys need to be re educated. Uh, no, it's that <laughs> moment phone. I realize you guys are my friends. Yes, Jericho Jesus. would be a good series for Netflix to pick up because it's it's it would be cheap enough for them to, to produce. Yeah. Too bad the game sucks. It's not related. Cash Black! How's it going, dude? Uh, I opened okay. your package. Maybe you can see the contents over on the uh, music stand there. <laughs> the no, still doesn't <clears throat> change the fact that the game sucks. The package opening is filmed. Nope. <laughs> there are several package openings to go up before yours, so it might be a while before we get to it on video, but it is done, it is filmed. Thank you for all the awesome it stuff. It is appreciated. <laughs> it is definitely appreciated. <laughs> definitely a lot of cool surprises in there. I found out there's Gabriel Knight games. I did not know that, that these existed. Yep. There's three of them. Yep. And yes. they're available on GOG for like three bucks a piece. Yes, perfect. And I, w I would bind the hell out of them. Yes. I'm gonna go get alcohol. Lucky. I have alcohol. I was waiting for Metal Madness to show up, but he's still not here. Well, let me find out where Metal Madness is. Oh, he's not even on Skype. So I, I would assume he's gone to bed or working. Well, he was no, he was out with some friends, and he said he'd be home in an hour. If that was three hours ago. Oh. So. I, I don't know. Maybe he got laid. <laughs> I Not can't. Me, I'm just saying. I can't drink until all my codeine is gone. Well, you could have one shot and be fucked up for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it like amplifies the effects of it. Yeah, that but I'd true. also not risk the health of my heart. Death. <laughs> There's that. Yeah, the death part. Yeah. That would be bad. That would be bad. What else did you see, Cash? What was the other movie? Mm -hmm. Oh, Black Christmas. I, I like have Black, Black Christmas. Christmas. And my bloody Valentine. I haven't seen my Black Christmas yet. I've owned it for two years. It's up there. It's in the B right. section. Under Black. I don't mean to be offensive or anything, but it kind of looks like somebody jizzed all over your 3D printing stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, I just didn't hold it in. It has oozing issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. 
dun, dun, dun. I haven't done any um, extruder tuning other than making sure it's feeding through as much filament as it thinks it is. Are you are you going to tune it soon? Yeah, eventually. Only really, all it does is just waste fault. a little bit of material. <coughs> Crimson news: I will destroy you all. <laughs> yeah, that's about close. Yeah. Yep, she's an order mistress. Don't you know that? So I was in chance to so get it right. I'm not. Your mistress. Well, not in like that. Like the female Good version Lord. of the master. Jesus. Semantics. It's important. <laughs> that uh, was not my official title. <clears throat> Cash, Black, Cash Black wants to join the hangout. If that's... Mm, I don't know him that well. <laughs> He's been in here before. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just being a dick. Don't mind me. <laughs> have another shot, Brandon. I suppose Fine. we could have a national I'll have representative shot. from the great nation of New Zealand join us. And I must point out every time it's, oh. the, it's the vulture getting hit in the nuts by Spider-Man. So we don't really need to uh, see my camera. Does, does someone friends with him? We'll wait until there's. I don't work? remember how you guys did it last time. I thought. Neither do I. I think. Plus. Oh. Or YouTube. Maybe. I don't know. No. Hold on, Facebook. I'm working on it. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Trash buns on it. This works on it. Do 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 do. Oh, oh I just <sighs> filled like a shot worth of my lap. Oh no! That's enough to make what a grown man cry. What did you do that for? Because I am a little tipsy still, and not um, coordinated, oh, coordinated still. The, the stuff is 14% start... alcohol by volume. Mm. Only 14? We start, yeah. I started drinking three hours before the hangout. The, the stuff that I was drinking last time I do was have like your email. Three. So, <laughs> um, because I am beyond cheap. The question is... I'm a class act. Oh, you got your name somehow, right, Eric? In yeah. a class all my own. I don't know. I think I think Zwart's on it. He's he's got something Cheers. figured out here. I'm he trying to figure good. him. He's working I'm his man. Oh, oh, there he is. That's, okay. That's basically uh, colored. Cash Black hasn't created any events. Share. Cash Black. I should be able to send them a message on. The also thing. known as Thirteen yeah. Evil Breeze Thirteen. Also known as This Hidden World. Jump. Mm. To... He goes by many names. Ah, I know this hidden world. Oh. I didn't know that was the same person. Yes. I recognize the YouTube name. That is he. And he you may or may is not be subscribed to me. We. He should be. <laughs> just if he's on this <laughs> hidden world, is in fact his YouTube thing. I'll just send them a message on the YouTube. Okay. On the tubes of you. On the YouTube. Because apparently I can't send him a message through his live stream. Huh. Hangout. Okay. Name. Weird. John. I think you have to be following each other. I didn't tell you can do it. I don't know. That's right. We came in here as Frank. The hell? Ah, I found you, this hidden world. <laughs> He's no longer hidden. <laughs> I am afraid you'll have to die. Also, Frank Caprica, because he is a huge Battlestar Galactica fan, apparently. I'm having uh, <laughs> spicy chipotle jacked Doritos. Oh, I think I've had those Which, ones. Which, by the way, they're okay as chips, but what they excel at is being breadcrumbs. Ooh. For, like, fried, we did fried um, buffalo wings. That's mm -hmm. a really awesome. good idea. I've done that with, like, cornflakes before. I never even thought of using Doritos. Like, That's brilliant! The, the problem is, <laughs> that, like, the flavoring's okay, right? But when you break the chip... And it becomes dust. The straw, the favoring like releases. I guess I don't know. No. Very subtle in the chip, but very strong as the. Uh, well, it's just spice. like when you grind a, a spice, like the, the finer yeah. ground pepper, the more robust mm. flavor of the pepper. Exactly. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Oh, you've never done with Doritos before? No, I have not. Oh, my my family. Oh, it that. lifted. Oh. What? Tank. Yeah, tank. It moved badly. It moved. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Shit, quick, move it back, move it back, move it back. <laughs> well, that won't work. What are you... 
and it lifted the other one. God. Damn fucking, it. Fucking Google, fucking can you shit. just fucking work, please? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, what is it, uh, what, what is it that you're making there? It's supposed to be, uh, vibration isolators for the oh, solitude. Oh, Frank, you gotta unmute yourself in the top right-hand corner. Your microphone is off by default. He's on the phone. He's oh. on the phone. But we want to listen in. <laughs> <laughs> this will be just like the time. There he is, folks. Sean. The face of this hidden world. No longer hidden. From the world. <laughs> From the world, yes. No, not world. <laughs> Apparently he's finalizing a big movie deal right now. <laughs> It's like, no, it's you can't really. use my house as Bilbo Baggins' home. I keep telling you. Dildo Baggins? Dildo Baggins, oh, yes. Porn parody? <laughs> the porn Overhill parody, yes. Under whore. Overhill and under whore. The story of Dildo Baggins. <laughs> there you go. Remember the time I called your house, Sean? I think so. Why did you call me again? I don't even remember. Because you were you were getting kicked out of the hangout. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you would got kicked <laughs> out, then we would all get kicked out. That's right. <laughs> Raptor says so Doritos as breading. Shelter? Why isn't NASA funding this? Oh yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> NASA hardly has any funding for itself. Yeah, which is a crying shame because they, they do the way, amazing work. If you make anything with cornmeal, you can actually use Doritos too. You grind them up enough. And replace the, the cornmeal with the Doritos. No, oh, gotcha. Space. Well, it is corn chips, so why not? Makes sense. Oh. No video space. You uh, see you've you. got a video. We see you. We can't You're hear between. you. I see between you. Between. Stoud. Yeah. You there. You have to unmute here. your mic. You go up to the, the top there. <laughs> the big red mic symbol. So you get the, you know. With the line through it. It needs to be not yeah. red to work. Exactly. <laughs> Got and it. it. Oh, there we go. He I hides. literally didn't recognize my name. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, by... Putting his face on video, is it like we're effectively demasking Batman? Yes. Yes. Seth, I'm sorry, less, way, way less sexier. <laughs> way I don't know. Less sexierly. If you put him no, no, and Christian no. Bale in a room. I'm saying, sorry, you're so ashamed. Batman's <laughs> less sexy. Kill That's Val what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're definitely better looking than Val Kilmer. That's a damn sure. There's, there's only one Batman, and his name is Val Kilmer. <laughs> oh, oh, Whoa, you did not go words, there. Son. <laughs> hey, I'd rather have Val Kilmer as Batman than George Clooney as well, Batman. Well, yes, this is yeah. true. This is true. Actually, I, I didn't. Know. I didn't mind Batman Forever that much. I, I just thought it had one too many I'd subplots. I'd rather have Clooney than Kilmer. I, I thought it had one too many subplots going on, but... Um, My only problem was the bat card, the bat visa or whatever. Yeah, the and there was some cheesiness. It wasn't anywhere near as over the top as Batman and Robin, though. Did you guys see what uh, the cinema snob did for his friend's birthday? Oh, no. He got a 1989 Batman poster. Nice. So he, got Mike, he got the 1989... Michael Keaton Batman co poster, and then he paid Val Kilmer $120 to sign it for his friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Hi, right, everyone. Chill. <laughs> I, um, I can see everyone except for Sean. I've just got a logo instead of Sean. Well, you want to yeah, yeah, yeah. be watching me in the live voice. stream. Sadly, I can't because my internet. But... See, if I put my, if I put my camera on... Can you it, move your camera? Oh, you you it's my it? it's my kitchen, but there's nothing right. <laughs> there's nothing going on in my kitchen right now. So, <laughs> can you rotate the camera towards you? So no, because I'm going to be going into the kitchen in about two minutes. Fine, uh, fine, fine. You can, fine. You can, you can <laughs> do your Paula Dean impression. That's right. Oh no! 
Oh my god, that one went off the deep end this week. Mun munch, out, munch on some fried chicken and say, Mmm, this is what all crackers love. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that clip on YouTube? It's an actual <laughs> Paula Deen clip. She made a pile of fried chicken, and she bites into it and says, Mmm, this is what all crackers love. <laughs> She's gone up the fucking deep end. She's gone. Yeah. So we're never getting her back, which is I'm oh, okay no. with me, mind you. Yeah. Because she's, the only person who left a whole stick of butter in her food were the two fat ladies. One of them died. <laughs> that was the end of it. No more fucking sticks of butter in your food. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was also diagnosed with diabetes. Who, Paula Dean? Yeah. Diabetes. 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 Speaking of. Speaking of heart attacks, Sean, did you, um, you must have had one when you saw that Doctor Who news. Yes. Um, do, do, do you, well, you frequent the Facebook page, I think, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I posted quite a bit about that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. I've, uh, I've held off posting any updates because it, it got kind of crazy. We were t actually talking about it earlier in the chat. Um, but just briefly, um, j just because it was like, one day it would be true. The next day it would be back to being a rumor. Next day it'd be true again. Next day it's a rumor again. And it's just like, it was getting too crazy to keep up with. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to wait. I want it to be true. I hope that it's true. Please let it be true. But I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> sounds, sounds like my love life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like my ex-wife. Oh, Need a rim shot. Hey, oh. Hey -o! Yeah, I, I was out at the movies, so I, I missed the beginning of the... I just saw A Place Beyond the Pines. Oh, how was oh, that? How was it? That's, not, that's on my hard drive. I get to watch it. It's uh, it's pretty slow, but it's like it's like a, an actor's movie. They all get to have juicy roles and act really well. and But it's like three different stories, and my favorite one is the Ryan Gosling one. So. That's good. Yeah, Gosling's like, awesome. Uh, yeah, he's pretty intense. I didn't care for Ryan Gosling until I saw him in Drive. That was the movie oh, that really know. sold him oh, on. They, they and now you care for him? Well, now I'm willing to watch him in they, things that aren't The Notebook. Raptor and Vermin are talking, it started with our Batman comments, uh, talking about Kevin Conroy as being the ultimate Batman. Vermin says, yeah, Conroy. Raptor says, we should work to get Kevin Conroy on cam. Make us all... All us geeks gush. Listen, we have... Ver hold on, hold on. Vermin's, and then Vermin says, I think I could handle listening to Conroy on his own, but throw in Peter Cullen, I would geekgasm. Two of the best <laughs> voices ever. I would pay money to have their vocal cords. <laughs> Raptor says, Optimus and Batman talking to each other. That's madness, Vermin! <laughs> okay, carry on. Okay, listen, we have several ideas trying to get celebrities to appear on cam with us, and so far, none of them have panned out. Kevin Smith won't return my calls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, working on Lloyd Coffin right now. Is he Lloyd still Coffin? hurting about the incident, Thrustbone? Well, uh, he's <laughs> mad because I took his weed and his wife, you know. Oh, uh, okay. That'll do that. In the same day, mind you. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask Tom Cruise then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually talking to. I'm doing, I'm trying to connect with Lloyd Kaufman on LinkedIn. Yeah, uh, Lloyd Kaufman would do it way. though. Lloyd. Lloyd would probably okay. do it. Lloyd is just crazy enough that he needs people to hang out with him. I think all his actual friends are so tired of his crap. That he needs <laughs> like new Lemmy. ones. Yeah. Well, his friends are his crew. <laughs> like Lemmy. Yeah. This, this is me in this hidden world mode. <laughs> just need your. There's no animal. Just Where's need your dog, dog there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know where she. Oh, she's asleep over the. Seeing corner. the magic hands showing your sexy steel books. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Although I did get books. Kevin Smith to respond to one thing. Yeah. I he, I told him if he ever did a show in Ontario, I would give him my top hat. Oh, there you go. So he said next time he's in Ontario, he'll let me know, and I have to bring Timbits in my top hat. <laughs> so oh, I'm just oh. going to buy a lot of Timbits, and I'm just going to 
lay a trail back to my house. <laughs> um, <laughs> like E.T. On, <laughs> on the, the route of, you know, getting celebrities and shit. So here's the deal. We did a movie, uh, movie gaming on a movie called Yeti, A Gay Love Story. Mm. Also known as Yeti, A Love Story. Well, <laughs> the two guys who wrote Yeti, A Love Story contacted me on Twitter saying, wait, you did a commentary for Yeti? And I linked it to them. And they loved it. They loved it so much that I got to talking to them, and we might be doing a commentary for the sequel for the DVD release. Nice. Fucking A. I want in on that. So, so uh... <laughs> Sorry, how does this link to celebrities? <laughs> the, I, they said, made a movie. Made. That trauma <laughs> release. Did you make a movie? That's as close to celebrity <laughs> as we can get right now, okay? <laughs> start. The other thing is, um, they have a new movie called Street Team Massacre, which is available on Troma's YouTube channel, at least last week. We're going to be doing a commentary of that very shortly. We have to do one other movie plus... We have two other movies lined up, and then after that we'll be doing... Uh, uh, Street Team Massacre, and then uh, when, Gay, when Yeti a Love Story 2, actually it's called Yeti Life on the Streets or something like that. Um, when that came out, God damn, that chicken's smelling good. I'm gonna go check on it. So, <laughs> Yeti 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> yeah, really good. It's called like Life on the Streets or something. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, why not? Speaking of barbecue sauce. Have you heard of uh, the official barbecue oh, sauce? Yeah. I'm going to go smoke. I'll be back. Like, no one could hear you. I said, speaking of barbecue sauce, has anyone tried Guar's official barbecue sauce? Nobody pays attention to Guar in this chat, except you. Well, Metal the Madness train. would. If he's he's not in this chat! <laughs> well, then I'm going to give him a call. And tell him you everyone should. doesn't like Guar, and he'll be here in a second. <laughs> Just tell him everyone's trash talking him. Yeah! <laughs> We're drinking with Adam. Where's my drink? Here it is. To say that they're belittling his greatness will rush on over. We're about to cancel all his uh, hot tub pre orders. Vermin Art's like, I I'm still exempt from war. that, and it makes me really sad. You want to be in his hot tub? No, I wanted one of the hot tubs because it's the children's part. <clears throat> yeah. So this is what I realized it wouldn't work because they don't have a soul to exchange for it, and there's too much red tape to use someone else's. No, but you could steal a soul and pretend it's yours. This and... is what I told him. I said, Matt, skin slip is trash talking odorous youngus. You better get in here before shit gets real. <laughs> well, like Raptor said, I'm more of a lordy guy. Lordy! Lordy is Hard Jesus' pet rock. Pigeon. Hallelujah! Hard rock. Hallelujah! Jesus, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Not as loud as I can get either. Please, Dad. Here's the guy. <laughs> I was going to get loud. on my case for singing loudly. <laughs> How many times do you have to go over this? You sing at those inappropriate <laughs> times while we're trying to have the conversation. <laughs> and sometimes we're talking to you oh and you're like God. totally zoned out from us and fucking start singing. Do you guys have the tampons? Fuck you, Mia. Fuck you. No. Whoa. Damn you anyways. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> It offers some mind all, but I'm afraid of the adverse side effects. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm enjoying the view of my kitchen. <laughs> of course, we shouldn't side with Raptor because he refuses to watch Exorcist. He refuses. I said, it's a great movie, and he's like, oh, but I'll be scared, because he's a pussy, apparently. Who? But he needs to watch Exorcist. He needs to. I refuse to have a conversation with him. Yeah. Who? Until he sees it. Who? Uh, Raptor. Raptor, he, re he refuses to see Exorcist. Because it's too scary. Oh, the exorcist. Not disco exorcist. No. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's awesome. But, um, I gotta tell you, Raptor, if you're into movies at all, you have to see the exorcist. See? Otherwise, you're just gonna have to hand your cock over. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Persh, you don't get to be anything. Fucking hell. I refuse to see horror movies in the theater, and I've seen Exorcist more than once. 
<clears throat> Exorcist is just a fantastic and no, film. No, Scary Movie Two does not count, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, though. Okay, our mission is to get Raptor to watch a shit ton of ho horror movies on or around Halloween. Plenty of time for him to work up the nerve. Somebody find out where he lives. I'll get the duct tape and the electric chair. Yep. By Perfect. the way, Raptor. <laughs> the mission. Compared to movies today, Exorcist is nothing. Put that out. It's uh, better is what it is. I'd no, say no, scary-wise. I mean, uh, not, not quality. Uh, I don't find it scary at all. Yeah, but you're jaded. Not everyone is you. Yes, I'm a horror fan. God forbid. <laughs> exactly. Nothing phases you anymore. To a normal well, the, the mere mortal, it is still scary as hell. It holds up phenomenally not well. Not my fault. Ugh. It's like the Star <laughs> Wars of horror before George Lucas started fucking with everything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm saying the mission yeah, should be down. that he watches a horror in the woods at night on his iPad <laughs> Blair Witch Project or something <laughs> make him watch all 72 episodes of Marvel Hornets back to back <laughs> <laughs> that shit that's fucking scary that is like holy mm -hmm. fuck balls they have that where is my kitchen theater. there it is okay they have I'm... a floating theater in Thailand yeah uh, that's on the water yeah, I'd love to watch Jaws. Just like, yeah, going to get my food. Don't mute me again. Jaws and Piranha. Piranha, you're going to get a double bill. Right. Right. Food time. I can see yeah, Zara and Isaac. Exorcist is only scary if you believe in things like the supernatural. There we go. That's it. Of course, the problem with doing it this way without a drip tray is... The barbecue sauce singes to the pan and it's a bitch to clean. But whatever, it's delicious. It's all that matters. I mean, you have a kid now. Industry. You can get all the way through. You can get oh, Rosie to do the dishes. Raptor. Raptor says scary film we've seen is twenty days later. It might be my right. favorite horror film. I'll fucking stab you. Good movie. That's not a horror really? movie. That's not even a movie. Hey, what? I like twenty eight days later, but fuck. It's not fucking well, stab I hate you. It. I, I hate when people stab say you. Go. I hate when people call 28 Days Later a zombie movie. It, it's not a zombie movie. It's not a zombie movie, but it is a horror film. Bodacious Bodados. Which, which one is Raptor? The the one that says Raptor Riviera. Yeah. Not in here. He's in the chat. Uh, he's, in, uh, he's in the chat. Yeah, I he he's that. not in the chat. I send him a link every week where he keeps getting in because he's very oil. shy. So. <laughs> not very, not a very talkative person. He's very reserved. So. Kendra uh, says that Sean needs to make white rice with that. Now the Exorcist <laughs> version you've never seen before, those CGI effects they added, ugh, mm. they're terrible. Yeah, see, I like, even I, I like the scenes added, but not the, not, not the, the effects. CGI. See, yeah. even they're more okay. credence to my argument that. The Exorcist is, in fact, the Star Wars of horror. Yeah. Uh, now, the effects are okay. They're, I've seen far worse and bigger budget budgets. So. But, yeah, well, they're not great. Right. By any stretch of the imagination, they're not great. I, it was yeah. so unneeded making a face go CGI demon in a couple of scenes. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I like this. I, I like the spider one. Myself. I always watch the uh, original because of there that. There we go. I don't have yeah. to yell anymore. Sorry if I was blowing everybody's mics or headphones, whatever. Ears. I also like Extra part three. Oh. Excellent. Exorcist, Exorcist 3 is a good film. There we go. Oh, never mind. Exorcist Ooh. 3, I don't remember ever No, holy shit. I lost the live stream for a moment. It's reloading. Oh. Yeah. Hold it's on. It's reloading. It's still going. Yeah, it kicked out for me too. What's going on here? Nothing. It just did a quick kick out. It's like John Cena kicked out the last one. It seems to be the the. It's still broadcasting. I'm yeah, stuck yeah. on initializing. Yeah, so am I. But I see the chat. Refresh. Just refresh. See if that yeah. does it. Okay. Reloading. It's refreshing. <laughs> refresh. <laughs> So refreshing. Yeah, like Why does everybody freak out whenever there's issues? 
Like, just calm well, down. Because everyone likes to freak the just, fuck out. Just calm down. <laughs> it's the moon, man. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'll, uh, I'll stop it's the... the moon, I'll man. stop... There was an error. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, it, it got a little... Up. All right, hold on. I will uh, stop and restart. Ooh. There That's we go. Here. Okay. <laughs> You were just asking why everyone else freaks out when shit doesn't work. Yeah, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to freak out. Fuck you! I have legitimate reason. Oh, my initialization okay. still frame changed. Meanwhile, still everyone continues why flipping the fuck out. Why is it being a car? <laughs> why are you not wearing a Doctor Who scarf? I agree. don't have one? That's I'm used to looking at your juice. animated... Uh, you're, looking, you're used to looking at your animated uh, Doctor oh. Who picture. Oh, right. Also, you have Rosie to knit you a scarf. <laughs> Rosie? For 50, for, for 50 cents a day. There you go. Get mom to do one. Disconnected, reconnecting. Well, just fucking reconnect already. Fine. I don't know why it's doing that. It, it shows that it's broadcasting at my end, but... Now it says it's not up for me. <sighs> fucking hell. Reloading. Not mine still airing out. Oh, initializing. It's initializing. So, Let's Frank, when can I ex expect your submission for Kiki? Because we're waiting for that article, bro. What is that? I don't know. You have to, you have to start writing for Kiki. So. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? How can I'm you a, be in the chat and not I'm know what Geeky is? You're to death with your own shoes. <laughs> you made a thing out with the entire group of people from Geeky. The website that helps sponsor this. How do you not know? How do you not know? <laughs> <laughs> I only pimp it out constantly. Because I like, I like to I like to see your head explode. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't happen that often in New Zealand. Everybody is very calm, cool, and collected there. They're, they're like very laid back. Yeah. Damn it! I'm out of alcohol again. It's because it doesn't get that cold here. Fucking hell! Cold live stream, just work. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> It keeps going, event started, event off air, event started, event off air for me. How, mm -hmm. how do you spell that website? G33K-E. Ah, uh, yeah, I've been to that website. Oh, <laughs> oh that website. Heaven, you've been to our website. <laughs> it's alright. Geeky.com, it's not geeky. Geeky.com, it's G33K-E. You that did not. Matter, you did not just do that. I totally. That you did so not matter, just do that. <laughs> yeah, it's still broken for too. Man, I, I know. I have it up. I can see okay. what it, I can see what it's doing. Okay. Man, or rather, what it's or rather what it's not doing. I have no problem. Making sure you knew. Mm -hmm. So sorry. Is it g double three k dot com dash e dash e ah. Dash e. You can tell from the sarcastic smile that he's enjoying for <laughs> Well, you know. Why did we invite this guy again? Because we gave <laughs> Sean money. Because I insisted. We all uh, enjoy watching uh, skin slips head explode. Because I'm, because I'm so hot. All right, hold on. Because anyone that can help. <laughs> okay, right, here we go. <clears throat> Try it again. If it doesn't work, this may be the shortest Saturday Night Insanity ever. Well, what if you make a new event? Huh? You might need to try to make a new event, maybe. I don't know. It shouldn't matter. Oh, it shouldn't matter. Of course not. No. Mmm. This is good. What the fuck? We get for yeah, dollar sometimes. store barbecue sauce. Okay, here's your celebrity. No. Yay! Yay! I just won't do it. Is that a baby Wookie? Yeah, it is a uh, baby Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to do it by just changing the time. Yeah. 
Did you say the event started? Okay. But live? I think she's actually. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. She's Beautiful. bored. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I had enough Beautiful of this. Movie. All right. Stopping. No, it keeps trying to initialize. Yeah, I know. So this is the. Ship. FTL. <laughs> How did I know? I haven't, I haven't cha a chance to even fired up yet. Oh, it's so good. I had so much fun with it last night. I installed it. I'm probably going to play it some more tonight. I might play it in a few minutes if this stream doesn't fucking work. Hey, did, did anyone answer Justin Swartz's uh, oh, screen sorry. cap question? What's the name of the free screen you have to talk about oh, last week? Oh my god, it's what? running. It's going. Hey. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, uh, it's like you say. Wow, that. what a pain in the ass that was. Hey, it's me. Look. So we, uh, I had to go into the event settings and change the time to about five minutes ago because it wouldn't let me restart it at the regular time because it was too late, I guess. And it just barfed all over itself trying. <laughs> uh, but I think it recorded all the shit that I was trying to do, so you can see all of our frustration in the recordings. <laughs> Enjoy. And I've it's actually spread. almost finished my food. I've eaten like half of it just trying to get things up and running again. <clears throat> what time is it there? It is currently 10.52 p.m. Oh, what day? Yesterday, Saturday. It is the night of Saturday, Saturday yes. Yeah. Yesterday. It's yeah. Sunday and for me. It's hence, well, Saturday well. night insanity. It's uh, Sunday, almost 6 p.m. Wow, you're like almost a full day ahead of us. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I'm in the future. In the future. The future. I am. The, I'm John Connor. <laughs> John I'm saving, Connor. I'm, sa I'm saving the universe. <laughs> uh, there we go. You Can you save my bank balance, John <laughs> Connor? Yeah, can you, yeah. Can you increase? Can you go into the past Don't and deposit a couple bucks in my bank? <laughs> and then, so that there's a billion dollars in there now. <laughs> well, that would be proper use of time travel. And record all the missing episodes of Doctor Who while you're back there. Yeah. <laughs> so does, any, does, does anyone here um, watch Continue? Continue. Oh, the podcast? I've heard of them. No, no the can Canadian uh, sci fi show. Oh. Continuum? Uh, yeah, I have not seen I, it. I've heard. It. I haven't started it. Man, I've been, I'm watching. I'm up. It's almost finished the second season now. I watch it. I've been oh. downloading it each week. Cool. I gather it's good then. Well, it's weird. Both seasons so far. The first half of the season was kind of, eh, and then the second half is really good. Weird. So it's one of those worth waiting like a, shows. Yeah, like at the end of season one, it really got going, and then I thought it'll just blast straight to season two, but it went back to being kind of tepid. <laughs> and now it's finally it's finally built up strong again. Hmm. It's shot, it's shot in Vancouver, like everything else. Awesome, Hollywood North. It's got, yep. it's got a lot of ex Battlestar and Caprica people in it. Nice. I still have to see Battlestar. Oh man, I haven't, I haven't seen anything Captain. but the first season. That's my favorite of all time. I've seen the original many, t many, many times. Well, yeah, I have that. <laughs> oh, I look at that. See, I've seen the new one. But I've never seen the old one. There was an error playing mm -hmm. this video. Oh. Did the stream crash for anybody else? Is it just me? Yep. No, yep. it's crash for, mm -hmm. crash for me. Fuck. Yeah. I told Man, you not just... to fuck with war. <clears throat> I told you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sean just wants to eat, and yeah. there's all this chaos. Mm hmm. <laughs> Never gonna beat this fucking game. So, what is the 3D one making this time? The 3D printer. It looks like an adipose. It looks like two uh, villains from Pac Man hanging out. <gasps> I know what they are. Are they the things from Despicable Me? They yeah. look like minions! Yes. Minions. I was like, wait, they're not bad enough to be adipose. Are the adipose the things from Doctor Who? Yeah. Mm. They're the little fat globs. These are minions. Boo doo 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 doo. Ba -na 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 -na. 
Hey, Sean, I got the uh, X-Men First Class Steelbook. Oh, nice. I found it super cheap. And uh, so I'm selling, I've sold mine and, got, and bought that one. <laughs> I just had the regular before. Did you ever see it? I haven't seen it since my roommate downloaded a bootleg of a theatrical version. I saw it at the movies. That was a good movie. Yeah. I heard Kevin Bacon plays a Nazi. <laughs> He's awesome in it. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to next year's one, the uh, Days of Future Past. Yeah. So, wait, when you say Kevin Bacon was awesome, was he Tremors awesome or Friday the 13th awesome? He was uh, super Tremors awesome. Tremors awesome. Tremors awesome. That's what I thought. Have you seen Super? Super I haven't seen, but I hear Rain Wilson ah! is awesome in that movie. Well, Kevin, Kevin Bacon is awesome in that also. Has anyone here seen Defendor? <laughs> no. Raptor no. says, dang it, you say you don't want to watch a certain horror film and the stream gods have a tit fit. <laughs> it was all Raptor's fault. I'm going to do a video, a This Hidden World video, of the three, the three regular person superhero films that came out within 12 months of each other. The, uh, Paperman, did kick you see that one yet? Kick-Ass, kick Super, and Defendor. There's also Paperman. Did that come out at the same time? I have that, I haven't seen it yeah. yet. It's a Ryan Reynolds movie. Uh, it's special. Uh. Oh, fuck you and your hate for Ryan Reynolds. No, I just don't like him in superhero films so far. Oh, it's a comedy, so... You're a comedy. Because he's, he's been in what, Green, La Green Latin, Blade 3, and uh, Wolverine Origins. <laughs> really? He was actually hilarious. <sighs> Oh shit! I'm gonna die. God, this game hates me. Eric, I don't know how you got past. Oh, you're playing on. All right, control. that's it for live stream tonight. Fuck it, we're gonna go over to Twitch and play some Splinter Cell in about a half hour. Sweet. Yeah. So, do you use XSplit when you're on uh, live on Twitch? Yes. John? Yes, I okay. do. Okay. 